K9 parvovirus is a non-enveloped virus with a single-stranded DNA genome encoding for the three major proteins of its capsid and determines its tissue tropism, host range, and antigenicity. Parvovirus is very resilient in the environment and to common disinfectants. Our focus is on CPV2, which is highly contagious and potentially fatal by causing acute enteritis, and less commonly myocarditis in domestic and wild dogs. CPV2 can affect dogs at any age, but is more severe in puppies from 6 weeks to 4 months old. This is attributed to a less developed immune response. The virus is primarily transmitted by the fecal-oral route. Viruses are shed via the feces of infected dogs and contaminate the environment. They then make oral contact with uninfected dogs. Dogs may also ingest the virus from fomites such as food and water bowls, shoes, or through contact with people who have handled sick or exposed dogs. High-risk locations are therefore anywhere that dogs may congregate. Upon ingestion, the virus first replicates in the oropharyngeal lymphoid tissue before being released into the bloodstream, causing early nonspecific clinical signs. As CPV lacks its own DNA polymerase, it has an affinity for the rapidly dividing cells of the small intestinal crypt epithelium, bone marrow, and other lymphoid tissues. Within the small intestines, crypt epithelium is lysed by the release of virions. Crypt necrosis ultimately leads to decreased intestinal absorption and increased permeability, resulting in diarrhea and protein losing enteropathy. Diarrhea is often hemorrhagic due to cytolysis of the crypt cells and ulceration of the gut lining, causing anemia. The associated inflammation manifests as abdominal pain and vomiting, which in combination with diarrhea, leads to dehydration. The loss of epithelial barrier can ultimately lead to secondary bacterial infections as well. CPV also targets hematopoietic progenitor cells in the bone marrow and other lymphopoietic tissues, causing panleukopenia. If suspected, CPV can be confirmed by fecal antigen test kits. Given that false positives due to recent vaccination with a modified life vaccine are uncommon, an animal should be considered infected with virulent CPV if it tests positive, especially if clinical signs are evident. False negatives are more often obtained, especially during the incubation period, around 10 to 14 days post-exposure, or even during early onset of disease as large volumes of diarrhea dilute the antigen. PCR can also be used to detect CPV DNA in fecal samples and differentiate between strains. While considered the gold standard diagnostic tool, false positives may be obtained up to 28 days post-vaccination with MLVs. Furthermore, it is more expensive and delays diagnosis, as samples have to be sent to specialized laboratories. Treatment is based on supportive care as there is no specific drug to eliminate CPV. This mainly includes fluid and electrolyte therapy, colloid therapy, antiemetics, and antibiotics. Prevention of CPV infection is based on the use of modified life vaccines. This is first administered at 6 to 8 weeks of age, then every 2 to 4 weeks, until puppies are at least 16 weeks of age. Due to the presence of interfering MDAs before 16 weeks of age, puppies 16 weeks or older should receive a dose of vaccine to develop adequate protection. Boosters are required for adults to ensure continued protection. Veterinarians should advise owners to avoid high-risk areas, especially because a window of susceptibility exists. Finally, spread of the virus can be prevented by isolating infected dogs, minimizing contact with fecal waste, and practicing good hygiene.